Hey guys, it's Andrew Rakakis. So my friend Willy Jammer or Greg sent me this uh, Moab gameplay, and I'm gonna do a commentary for it. Cause what fuck not? And if you're like, oh, you're just doing your friends' uh, gameplay, cause you're not good enough to get Moabs. Fucking damn straight, not good enough to get Moabs. I fucking hate this game. All right, so let's do this commentary for this piece of shit, goddamn pile of fucking dog shit. All right, using the MP7 it looks like most fucking underused gun in the fucking game. No, I never see the MP7. No one uses the MP7. Why is he using it? I have no idea. Dual FMG9s and secondaries. Oh, those are definitely not overpowered. So thank fucking god we got the most fucking underpowered class in the game. He gets a mob with it. Fucking special. Fucking special gameplay right here. Oh god damn it. All right, so. Looks like he died once, but uh, he's coming back for, obviously, he's going to get a Moab. I fucking said it already, and um, so there's no surprise in it. You know he's going to get 25 kills without dying, starting now. So, well, 24 with Hardline, because apparently he has special last on. Saves his teammate. Teammate is none the wiser. Not even a thank you, probably. He's running around here, being not very campy, because I don't think right now he realizes he's uh, on his way to a Moab. So he's running around drop shotting people because everyone knows lying down makes you fucking invincible. So that's not a problem here. Lies down, see? Invincible soldier. God. Real life tactic too. You should see. SWAT does a fucking house breach. They all run inside and just lie down. They kill everyone. It's not even a problem. Shoots this fucking super trooper over here. And then Mr. Sniper over there does not know how to shoot his gun. What a fucking noob. Put that shit away if you don't know how to fucking use it. Right, lying in the grass like a freaking like a freaking Wookiee here, covering himself in a makeshift um, fucking camouflage, makeshift ghillie suit on the ground. Good thing the gardener, good thing uh, Jose the gardener keeps that shit watered because that shit's gone. It's, everything else in this fucking village is destroyed except for those plants. That's good. Lies down here and uh, decides that uh, that uh, just uh, just to wait a bit. Let those tags just, uh, let those, looks like a ball sack right now, just float around. That rotating ball sack. Oh, okay, now he got out. That's good. That's good, let's keep this interesting. That's good. Alright, well, he's gonna go down the same tunnel as camping forever. And, oh, look, there's a guy! Should've kept camping. That's the rule. Should've kept camping. Good thing he got him, though, because we're, uh, I don't know, fucking... 15 kills in so far? I don't know. Maybe... Someone probably should, probably should keep a tally. Too lazy though. This guy's shooting at the polder guy, so he gets killed. This guy just decides to charge in and try to headbutt the other guy. <sighs> Got some stellar t teammates he's playing against. Got some stellar, stellar players he's playing against right now. Again, this guy, no idea what's going on. As you can see right here, silencer and assassin definitely doesn't make you fucking invisible. It definitely makes it so that it's fair for the other players and they can see you. I just want to point that out. That's super, super fair. This guy can't shoot for shit, gets destroyed. And also, good thing the MP7, with its fucking two and a half inch barrel, is way more accurate than most assault rifles in the game. This doesn't see that guy. We've got some stellar MLG gameplay right there. We can't even see what's going on. Kills that guy. Oh, that was close. Oh, you almost got, you almost got him. That was really close. All that movement from that guy. Look, freaking dumbass here. Of course has final stand. The best perk in the game. Good thing Infinity Ward, when they were making this piece of shit game, was in the fucking board meeting going, Alright guys, what does everyone love? Final stand. Let's make sure that's back in there. Has turned around and steals the um, Reaper's kill, which actually hits a lamp post. Thank god lamp post can uh, stop Reaper bullets, aka Hellfire missiles. That's real realistic. That's fucking awesome. So we're running down these trucks for about half an hour, and no one has realized he's here yet. So he's trying to avoid the recon drone, even though, good thing the recon drone can't see him because he has blind eye. And yeah, so he has specialist perk, he has all his things, he's not overpowered at all, so he's just running around raping these fucking noobs. Uh, I forgot to have nothing to say anymore. I, uh, I don't even know what to talk about. You know what, let's talk about Project Chris. That's right. For those of you who don't know, Project X, the movie, I thought was amazing. And uh, I thought it was hilarious, and the party scenes were awesome. And I totally want to throw a party like that, just never at my residence. Sees a snail man here. And um, so, 
I live in uh, Calgary, Alberta, and uh, so one what happened was there was apparently this thing called Project Chris, where it was like this guy named Chris, and he was actually apparently going to throw a Project X size party. Like people were apparently like flying in and driving in from like all over the place to like attend. Like he's saying it was like via Twitter. He's saying yeah, I'm gonna I'll give out the address like at uh, 8 o'clock on uh, Saturday and everyone will just like swarm and come and it'll be epic and uh, so then turns out this thing got really huge like it was the number one hashtag on Twitter and uh, so what happened was s some people in the media like Jimmy Fallon I think got over oh, well, there's a Moab good job fucking Greg you fucking idiot uh, so the people in the media got uh, hold of this information and turns out that well hold on a second Woo! leg switch Woo! okay so like people like Jimmy Fallon got a hold of this and were talking about it like saying is this actually like gonna be a realistic Project X type thing because Project X was based on a true story of some Australian guy who had like 500 people come to this party and like the whole neighborhood was trashed um, so the Canadian like version of the M FBI and even though I'm Canadian I don't know what the fuck that would be and the CBI Canadian Bureau of Investigation why not and so they got a hold of this information and they were like well we can't have this happen because we are fucking ruining everything ruining fun ruiners and uh, so first of all double kill on the Moab never seen that shit ever it's fucking awesome and so what happened was the Canadian uh, kind of law enforcement went to this guy and like told him like, yeah, you can't have this. You have to shut it down. So uh, no one really knew what was going on. And it turns out the night of like uh, when this Project Chris was supposed to happen, like everyone's like waiting still. Is this actually going to happen? Is he going to release like, the address and just say, you know, fuck the cops? Like, who cares? And then at the time comes and he releases the address and it turns out to be a fucking nightclub called the back alley. And the back alley had uh, paid him apparently to just put the address as him because he wasn't going to have it anyway. So they're like, all right, well, we'll give you like a, apparently the number is like a thousand bucks to to give out our address. So people will come to the club, I guess. And a lot of people did. Uh, apparently, like, apparently the back alley was packed, but still, everyone was not happy, so this Chris kid got ripped apart on Twitter. So, uh, I just thought I'd just share that story with you, because, um, because no reason, because I, I, I thought it was interesting. And as you can see, not only does this champion of my friend get a Moab, but he also gets the final kill, which he also gets the challenge for killing this guy five times in a single match. And of course, of drop shotting makes you invincible, no problem there. Alright, well, I can't read the score because the screen's too small, but I'm sure it's good, and as always, have a nice day.